Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to put custom music onto a record inside of Minecraft 1.16.4. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. If you want to help support my channel, get yourself a t-shirt in my Spreadshirt store. There's a link right there also in the description. And take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. Putting your own custom sound, custom music onto a, a disc in Minecraft is actually pretty easy to do, but there are a lot of little specific steps that you have to get right to make this work out. So we'll be talking about those steps. I'll be taking you from the beginning, clear through to the end, and playing it in here in the jukebox. I'll also be showing you how to rename the disc. And if you take a look right down here, there are two names. There's one name where it just says Music Disc right there, and there's a second name when you toss it into the jukebox. So we'll look at both of those names as well. Now I'll start off by setting up the basics for a custom resource pack, which is how you add in your new music. Let's just switch over to the desktop and see how that's done. The first two things you need for setting this up is a folder to work in. I just made one here. I called my custom records 1.16.4. You know, make it anywhere you want, call it anything you want. Just make a new folder. And inside this folder should be your record that you're going to want to be working on. Let me just change the view here to large icons. There we go. I just found this on the YouTube audio library. The next thing we need to do is to get a couple of files from the jar file inside of Minecraft. Let me show you how you find that. First off, open up any window like this, just any file window. And then up here, type in percent app data percent. Here we go. Go into the top one here, it says dot Minecraft. And then come all the way down where it says versions, go inside of versions. Now in here, Scroll down until you find the current version, and we're working right now in 1.16.4 right there. So go inside of that one, and you should see two files in here. You should also see the .json and .jar. If you're not seeing that part of it, go up to View, and make sure you put a check mark right here under File Name Extensions. You'll then see those. Now, if you only see the .json file, it means you haven't played 1.16.4 yet. So just go back, open up Minecraft, play the game once, close it down, Minecraft downloads the .jar the first time that it's played. We now want to copy this over into here. So I'm just going to right drag, so right mouse click and drag and copy. There we go, there's that file. Let's get this out of the way, there we are. Now I need to open this up to get the two files that are needed. So type over that .jar and make it say .zip. And then choose yes when it says you're changing the extension. There we go. All that really is is just a zip file that says .jar on it. We can now open this one up. I'm going to right click on this. And then we'll open this up in a new window, which will make it easy to drag files out of this. Here we go, open a new window. And there it is. You'll see a few folders at the top up here. We can ignore those for right now. And then scroll way down. It's a long, long ways down, down to the P's down here. And just about there. And you're going to find the pack.mcmeta and your pack.png files. You need both of these. Now we're just copying these out, so I'll select both of those, right drag, and copy. There we go. Okay, one more thing we need. Let's go back over here to our zip file and then scroll back up to the top again. Let's go inside the assets folder, inside the Minecraft folder, and right here you'll see a lang folder, L-A-N-G. Just right drag that over here and copy that as well. Okay, there we go. That's all we need from this particular folder right here. We're all done with that. Close that one down. Now the pack PNG, this is just a graphic image. You can see there it's 128 by 128. You can make this anything you want, any picture you want. I'll leave mine at this. Normally I change the picture. I also make mine 256 by 256 so I can add in more detail into that. But that's all it is, it's just a picture, just a square picture. The pack.mcmeta, this is where you name your pack and you have to have this file in here. And we'll take a look at this very quickly here. We need to open this up and edit this. Now I have mine set to open up inside of Notepad. You can use Notepad. You can download the free Notepad++. It's also a great program. Now to open this up in Notepad, it's real easy. Right click and then come down where it says open with right here. And if you don't see Notepad here, just click on choose default program. And if you don't see Notepad here, come down, look at more options and you get a big long list of all the different file types on your computer. Just find Notepad in there and open that one up and then you're okay. So mine's set to open up with Notepad. I'll double click on this and here we go. Now there's the pack format. All we need to change here is just the part right here that says the default data from Minecraft. Notice the quotation marks at the ends. Leave those there and just change this. 
I'll come on custom records 1.16.4. Everything else stays the same and save. So it's just the name. You don't actually have to change that. It's just nice to have that changed in there. It'll work without making any changes on that if you don't want to. Okay, we have our file here and then we have our lang file. We next need to have the folder structure and that's going to be some new folders in here. Let me go back here to the home tab right here and we'll start off with making a new folder and call this one assets. Notice that's all lowercase. Let's go inside of assets, make a new folder called Minecraft. There we go, go inside of that one. Make a new folder in here called sounds. There we go, go inside of that one and a new folder in here called records. There we go. Okay, that is where this is going to go after we've converted this to the .og format. We also need to have the lang file inside of here. Let me show you where it's going to go. I'm just going to take this and just drag it over like that. Let's go inside here. Take it and drag it into Minecraft like that. Go inside Minecraft and it should be right there. So it should be saying lang and sounds. We'll come back to this in just a bit, but inside here is this file and this is where you change the name of the record inside of Minecraft. So we'll come back to that just a little bit. Okay, let's now go ahead and convert this over to the .og format. Now, like using a program called Audacity, it's a free download. It's a great sound editing program, fully feature rich. It, it's a professional level program and it's free. So there's nothing wrong with using that. I've used it for a long time. Let me go ahead and I'll bring that up and we'll load this into that program. If you don't have Audacity, you can get it right here. It's at audacityteam.org download. It's a free download. They have it for Windows, Mac, and Linux as well. So pretty easy to get. And here we go. I'm just going to take the music file here and just drag it into Audacity like that. We'll bring it in. And there it is. Now this is an MP3 file and I found an MP3 works best when converting to .ogg or .og. If you have a different file format, I'd recommend converting to MP3 first and then converting over to .og. Also notice that this is a stereo track. There's a little glitch inside of Minecraft Java. This doesn't happen over in Bidrock, but it does happen in Java. If it's in stereo and you're playing the record in a jukebox and you walk away, it's not going to fade out as you walk away. Now, if that's important to you, you can convert this to the mono format. Click on this blue over here. They're selected. Go over to tracks, come down to mix and mix stereo down to mono and make it just a mono track. It doesn't actually matter on the jukebox whether it's in mono or stereo, except if you care about walking away from it. Okay, we need to convert this to the .og format. Go up to File, come down to Export, and choose Export as .og. And we're already at the right folder. That's fine. I'll choose Save and choose OK. Okay, we're through with Audacity. We can close that down now. There we go. There's the .og file. And the reason why it has this kind of funny cone shape thing, that's just because I have the VLC player in my computer, and that's the icon for the player. So that doesn't matter. Whatever player you use, it'll have the icon for the player. Okay, now I need to get this over into this location. Pretty easy to do. I'm just going to drag this over like that. Let's go inside of Assets. I'll set all these at the large icons, make it easy to see. Drag it in there. Open this up. Drag it inside the Sounds folder. Let's go in there. And then inside the Records. Double check. There we go. That's all set. So our sound file is all set. Now we need to work on the name of this so it shows up properly inside of the game. Why is just call it Honey, which makes it real easy. Let's back up to the Minecraft folder. So if we're back here, it's in Assets, in Minecraft, and you want the Lang folder right there. Open that one up, and set that at large icons. There we go. Now this is a JSON file, and I have my computer set for opening up JSON files in Notepad. Same thing I showed you how to do before, if you don't have that set up. Okay, let's open this one up. Now there's a lot of stuff in here, and it's all kind of jammed together, as you can see right there. It's just packed in solid. So in here, we need to decide which record we want to replace with this record. I'm going to replace 13. It's an easy one to replace. You know, I don't care for 13 anyway, so I'll be replacing that one. So there are two steps. We'll first fix it here, and then we need to change the name of our sound file. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to Edit, and come down to Find. And what you want to find here is music underscore disk underscore 13. This will take you right to the right location. Now I have a list of all of the record names and numbers on my website. There's a link for that in the description so you can find which one you want to change inside of that list. Okay, click on Find Next, and there it is right there. Let's go ahead and cancel that. So there is that bit. As you can see here, there are actually two of these. There's one right here, 
This one says music disc. This is what it says inside the inventory. I'm just going to add in music disc honey. Let's have the name on that. So that will now show as it's in that list. That's fine. Let's just go back up here to our edit. Find and find next. There we go. Music disc 13. You can see here's the description. This is what you see when you put it inside of the jukebox. So let me just change this one as well. And I'll change that to honey. So we made two changes. We changed it right here. This is the music description and we changed it right here. And this is the one that shows in the list. Okay, that's all taken care of. And let's go ahead and save that. So that's done. Now let's go back up here, back into our sounds folder, back into records. Now we need to change this so it's the right record name. And this one is just 13. That's all it is. It's a 13. And of course it's the .ogg file format. So that's now done. The language stuff is now done. That's the name. So we're all through with that. We have this taken care of. We have that taken care of. We're now ready to combine this together into a new resource pack. So let's click over here on assets. I'll hold the control key down and click on the pack MC meta and the pack.png. So I want those three pieces. And let's go up here to share and just click on zip and then give us a name. There we are. Okay, that's done. That's our new resource pack. We now need to get this inside of the game. So I'll bring back up just a standard file window again. There we go. Let's go up here to the address bar and again, percent app data percent. Go into Minecraft, come down to your resource packs and want to put it over in here. So I'll stick it. I'm going to right drag this over like that. Copy. There we go. It's now inside the resource packs and that's it. All the resource pack part of this is done. We can now go back, bring back up Minecraft, and let's test our new resource pack. Okay, here we are back at the Minecraft title screen. That's my custom panorama you see going around right there. This is actually the same room I'm recording this video in right now. We're looking in the opposite direction. Let's go down here to Options and Resource Packs. And in here, we should see it in our list. And there it is right there. Click on the arrow, brings it over here. Choose Done. Let that load that in. She was done again. And this now go into single player. And there's my Minecraft world right now. This will load us back into that same place we were at at the beginning. And we'll then go ahead and test the record out. Now the one we changed, the 13, this is the yellow record. Let me get my view changed here so you can see me. There we go. Okay, see there is the regular record like that. It says music disc. And there's the change we did that now says music disc honey. So it's easy to see which one that is. Let me just do that again so you can see that. There we go. So the name change worked out fine there. Let's just flip around here and we'll toss it into the jukebox. You can see right there, there's a name change down there. And you can hear that playing in the background. There it is playing just fine. Take it out and there you go. So I'll show it again. There's the first name change right there. Toss it in and there's your second name change. You can see it right down there and it's now playing just fine. Now again, mine is in stereo, so if I walk away, it's not going to fade away. For me, it doesn't matter. I'm only gonna be playing this inside of this room. Once I've done all, I'll just take that record out like that. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my new shirts and hoodies in my new Spreadshirt stores, a link for that in the description, and check out my channel for a whole bunch more Minecraft custom videos. And I'll see you next time.